Ah, The Sims 3. A vast real life simulation game where you could upgrade the stove by hitting it with a hammer for 14 hours. And you can go to work because a box of pizza is blocking the door. And of course, like in every game, there should be some secrets and easter eggs silently lurking deep in the game waiting to be found. Hello guys, my name is Only Abidoa and this is 50 easter eggs and secrets in The Sims 3. Let's start with the first one. Sometimes a hot air balloon will fly above your town. If you zoom into the balloon's basket, you should see two fake sims in it. It seems that they're a couple. Sometimes when you look up to the sky, you could see a plane passing by the neighborhood. In Sunset Valley, if you press tap and go inside the left side of the school, you can see a US map. Similarly, on the right side of the school, there's also another US map, but it's reversed. If you take a look inside the police station rabbit hole, there's an image of a real person, but it seems blurred. It also uses the same image as wallpapers for both left and right walls of the police station. If you take a look at the door of the bistro in Sunset Valley, there's a blue logo plastered on it. It's actually a reverse old EA logo. The logo can also be seen in other places, but most of them aren't reversed. There's a fish called Tragic Clownfish. Its name and appearance is taken from the Tragic Clown, which is an NPC from The Sims 1 that entertains Sims but will always fail horribly. There's also another Tragic Clown reference on a carton of milk whenever a Sim is cooking. If you take a look behind it, there's a picture of Tragic Clown, probably stating that he's missing. Still talking about Tragic Clown, if you go to Pleasant Rest Graveyard in Sunset Valley, you will find his grave. Based by the color of his ghost, the cause of his death is by drowning but it seems rather odd since he has the hydrophobic trait. When you revive him, he wears a top hat and still has his clown makeup. If you edit him and remove his makeup, he looks miserable. It seems that he hides his sadness behind that makeup. Poor guy. In the science building in Sunset Valley, there's a big golden servo statue. Servo is a playable robot in The Sims 2. Since Sims 2 took place 50 years after Sims 3, this could probably mean that building Servo is a long time ago. And no, Simbot in The Sims 3 ambitions isn't the same as Servo, since they're not as advanced. In Sunset Valley, there are two huge rocks near the Crystal Springs fishing spot. There seems to be some kind of ancient alien carvings on both rocks. One rock shows a carving of what seems to be a UFO abducting humans, while the other rock shows the life of humans back then. In Riverview, which is a free DLC neighborhood, there is the return of one of the most renowned sims in The Sims 2, Donald Lothario. In the description of his household, it was said that he stepped into a teleporter while several women were laughing, probably referring to the Caliente sisters, and then arrived here. It was also mentioned in the trailer as one of Riverview's mysteries. Now he lives in a small barn. Why he got teleported here remains unknown. In the Sims 3 World Adventures, if you go to Champlain Sims France and go into map view, Two of the French map view soundtracks originated from The Sims 1 Making Magic. The song used is the same as Magic Town's neighborhood soundtrack. In The Sims 3 Ambitions, in the new neighborhood Twinbrook, there's a jacklop next to a house located in the swamp area near the dam. Too bad it's fake. In Twinbrook, if you look far enough, you can see a metropolitan city with high-rise buildings from the distance. This could probably be a hint for the next expansion pack, which is the Sims 3 Late Night. If you go to Bridgeport, which is Late Night City, there is also a similar city that can be seen in the distance. Somewhere in Sunset Valley, you could find the Sims version of Stonehenge called Simhenge, which is pretty similar. You can find another two of these things in Riverview. Also, it's no surprise that you can also find another on Chocolate Sims, though it functions both as a tomb and as a landmark. In Appaloosa Plains, a new neighborhood introduced in The Sims 3 Paths, you can find a huge dinosaur statue. Yeah, that's it. 
but wait, if you look behind it, there's an abundance of dinosaur bones scattered around. Wow, makes me wanna wish dinosaurs are a thing in this industry, huh? You can find a Bigfoot somewhere in Apollosa Plains. And of course, it's fake. Why didn't they just put him in the damn game? In Lunar Lakes, a DLC world in the Sims 3 store, there's a graveyard that has 5 occupied tombstones, one of which includes Bella Goth's tombstone. This is rather odd since she looks really different from the Bella Goth we know. But the Sim Guru has confirmed that this is in fact the same Bella Goth in Pleasant View and Sunset Valley. How and why she ended up here remains unknown. This is a well-known mystery in Sims 3. In the edge of Sunset Valley, there's an old abandoned mine. What makes this really creepy are the glowing yellow eyes that appear deep in the darkness of the cave. The strange thing is that you can also discover the same cave in Twinbrook, Bridgeport, and Riverview. Apollosa Plains also has two similar abandoned mines. One is on the edge of the town, and the other is near the criminal warehouse, but they don't have those creepy eyes anymore. In Roaring Heights, another DLC world from the Sims 3 store, if you take a look at the town hall building, you can see a render of the Sims 4 Sims. In a lot of neighborhoods, deceased Sims have abnormal color schemes. What makes it strange is that all the dead Sims in that town have the same color, from their skin tones to their apparel. Each town has different color schemes. Green for deceased Sims in Twinbrook, Barnacle Bay, Lunar Lakes, and Lucky Palm, Grey for Bridgeport, Blue for Moonlight Falls, and Isla Paradiso, Red for Apollosa Plains, Purple for Sunlit Tides and Hidden Springs, Brown for Aurora Skies, and Yellow for Dragon Valley. In The Sims 3 Ambitions, if you look closely under the trampoline, there's a bat hanging upside down. This could be hinting for the next expansion pack, which is The Sims 3 Late Night. In The Sims 3 Generations, there's a small dog culprit located behind the baby mysterious Mr. Dome. It could be a hint for the next expansion pack, which is The Sims 3 Pets. There's also another hint regarding this expansion pack. In The Sims 3 Ambitions, if you travel to the past with the time machine, your sim may get a message about horse riding and how it could be useful in the future. Oh yeah, talking about the baby gnome, in The Sims 3 Generations, you can actually make a gnome family. If you have two mysterious Mr. Gnomes, there's a chance that they will have a baby gnome. Gnomes now actually have life stages like normal sims. The gnomes will grow from toddler, child, an edgy looking teenager, adult, which is basically the normal gnome, and finally elder. After some time, the elder will die and a gnome tombstone will be spawned. There's an arch in build mode called Archway of Heaven, which is a clear reference to the song Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Even the description also references the first few lines of the song. In the Sims 3 Pets, there's a painting called Rainbows, Lasers, Cat, which looks a lot like the popular internet meme Nyan Cat or Nyan Cat or whatever it's called. There's also another reference about it in the Sims 3 University Live. There's a shirt with a picture similar with Nyan Cat but with the face of a bunny instead. Whenever a Sim with the virtuoso train takes a shower, they will always sing. Sims from children to elder can do it and the song also differs for every voice. In the backyard of the Goth family in Sunset Valley, there is a small gothic graveyard with some tombstones lying around. The deceased Sims are mostly related to the Goth family itself, but one deceased Sim called Lolly the Goth stands out from the others. If you revive her and check her family tree, she doesn't have anything related to the Goth family. Some players make theories saying that she is Gunter Goth's ex-wife. Others say that she is set as a placeholder for Gunter's sister in The Sims 2, Frida Goth. But the real truth about her remains unexplained. If a picnic basket has been placed for too long, an army of ants will come and steal the food inside the basket. It's a long animation but it's satisfying to watch. In Starlight Shores, a city introduced in The Sims 3 Showtime, there is a big billboard showing a sim. It exactly looked like the box cover of one of EA's famous game, Battlefield 3. 
there's a space rock with the name Velocite, which name is obviously taken from Bella God's name, and Sporesite, which is a reference to EA's other game, Spore. If you're a fan of gem collecting in Sims 3, you might know a gem called Tiberium. In The Sims 3, it's a very valuable gem after being cut. It's even more valuable when the gem grows to its bigger size, being worth a hefty 40k simoleons. This gem is actually originated from one of EA's games, Command and Conquer series, which is basically the center of the plot. In the game, the gem is highly radioactive, while in The Sims 3, you'll only get the Fissoroidal Nausea Mutlet when you have it in your inventory for too long. Fissuroids are mutants caused by this gem's radioactivity. If you have Channel Troller 37 inches Deluxe TV and look at the things under it, you can see the box cover of my Sims and the Sims 2 Castaway. If you have the Sims 3 Generations, you can pull a prank on other Sims by setting a jump scare in the computer. The creature that popped up looks exactly like the Bigfoot from The Sims 2, except that it has lighter color. And The Sims 3 Ambitions, if you explore the shining drilling hole from the drill miner, you may receive a message saying that your sim met a rabbit on the way. This is a reference of the rabbit from the animated movie Alice in Wonderland. Still in Ambitions, if you enter the time machine and go to the future, you will get several messages. There's a chance that you'll get a message saying that some sort of shepherd saving the galaxy from an ancient machine threat. This is actually a reference to the Mass Effect series, one of EA's game franchise. You can also get a message saying that your sim stands up for miners' rights on Mars. This is also a reference to a game called Red Faction Gorilla. There's a poster in buy mode called The Tension Hall. The image in the poster is actually referencing the movie The Breakfast Club. There are some references in books, such as a book called Game of Thrones, referencing a Game of Thrones, a book called The Silence of the Lambs, referencing the novel and the film The Silence of the Lambs, a book called The Vampire Blocks, referencing the novel series The Vampire Diaries, a book called Plan 8 from Lunar Lakes, referencing the film Plan 9 from Outer Space, and finally a book called Where's Bella, which is both referencing the disappearance of Bella God in The Sims 2, and the children's book Where's Waldo. There's a painting called Dancing Bunny, which shows the social bunny from The Sims 2 dancing. Duh! If you go to Bridgeport, you can see a billboard showing an advertisement and a picture of a sim. This is a reference to the lawyer in the TV show Breaking Bad called Saul Goodman and his billboard advertisement with the phrase, Better Call Saul. If you have The Sims 3 Supernatural, there are a set of paintings that look normal by day, but at 6pm, they change their appearance to the creepy version of themselves. They will change back to normal at 6am. In The Sims 3 Seasons, on the festival ground, there is a picture of a sim on the face painting them. He looks a lot like Bob Ross, a distinguished painter in real life. Still in Seasons, if you have a UFO or the Galaxa space car and already upgraded it to support space travel, you can go to a planet named 6M. 6M is actually Maxis, the game developer company of The Sims, spelled backwards. In The Sims 3 University Life, one of the university mascot dances is called Mascot Dance Style. It resembles the famous Gangnam Style dance. Still in University Life, there are some murals from the street art skill that are a reference. For example, you can create a mural of an eye, which resembles one of the eyes in the game Spore. There's also a mural of a face, which closely resembles to the face of Walter White, aka Heisenberg, the main character of the TV show Breaking Bad. One more reference from Breaking Bad is a mural of an RV, which resembles the one Heisenberg used. In Sims University Neighborhood, if you look at the movie posters in front of the cinema, there are some that resembles real-life movies. There's one that resembles the movie Black Swan, while another one resembles the movie Iron Man. In The Sims 3 Island Paradise, there's a poster called Jaws. This is a clear reference to the movie Jaws. In The Sims 3 Into the Future, the name of the time traveler Amit Relevar, when read backwards, is actually Traveler, ta uh, I mean time traveler. There's a futuristic car in The Sims 3 Into the Future called the Lorraine Flying Roadster. It's a clear reference from the movie Back to the Future, where the protagonist's time machine is called the Lorian. 
One more from Into the Future is the households in Oasis Landing. One of the household consists of two members. One is a woman called Chelsea and the other is a plumboy called Gladys. This is a reference of the game Portal, where the protagonist is called Chell and the antagonist is a robot called GLaDOS. There is also another household that consists of a man called Friedrich Rama, a woman called Lila Turney, and a plumbot called Bendo. This is a reference to the animated TV series Futurama, where the main characters are called Fry, Lila, and a robot named Bender. Those are 50 easter eggs and secrets for you to discover in The Sims 3. There are still a lot more secrets and easter eggs that I didn't mention here, so write down in the comments below on what you found. Thank you so much guys for watching another Sims video with my own voice. I hope that you click the like button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Sims content. You could give some suggestions in the comments below for the next videos. See you later!